So stand to your feet. I'm going to, we're going to decree this over ourselves. And if you don't believe it about yourself, take a picture of this decree, go home and read it over yourself and begin to believe that God can actually anoint you with the anointing for breakthrough that changes the world. Say this with me. I will do the impossible through Christ and accomplish my mission. I will reach then exceed my potential. I am a one man breakthrough. I am not a victim. I am a victor. I will break through so others can break through. I am capable, able, and competent for any task. I am strong in faith so anything is doable. I am living in an atmosphere of unlimited potential where anything is possible. Can you just give the Lord a shout for that? Come on, Lord. We open up our mouths and we decree that we are called to move in the impossible realm. Okay, you can be seated. All right, y'all are going to love this one. There is an anointing for double blessing. Remember, part of it was abundance and blessing. The, there's the double, the, what, what's that? That's right. It looks like the rainbow we saw on Prince Edward Island. This is the anointing for double blessings and crazy increase. Two years ago, the Lord said to me, we're coming into a time of crazy increase. God said that before COVID shut us down. How many have experienced crazy increase through COVID shutdown? The, the Lord also talked to us about super bloom. We all know about super bloom. God's been telling us, talking to us all about super bloom. Um, Evie sent us a, a thing saying that the moon on Wednesday is going to be a super bloom moon or something like that. They're super flower moon. Something like that, okay? But I want to show y'all this video. This is, <laughs> this is insane, this video I'm getting ready to show you. Um, about three weeks ago, Apostle Tom and I um, sit on a prophetic council for a, a company called Ancient Nutrition. It is Josh Axe. How many know who Josh Axe is? Um, Jordan Rubin, he's the author of The Maker's Diet. And we went there and we went to their farm. We began to pray over their farm. I did ask for permission to use their names before, we, before I shared this. Um, but we went and as a prophetic council, we went and prayed over their farm, prayed God's blessing over their business um, and God's anointing to bring them into a double. Okay, so this started happening the week after we were there. And let's see if we can play that video. This is a very unique miracle video. What you're looking at are six eggs, six duck eggs. We've been consuming duck eggs for three years. They are super nutrient dense. In fact, they have as much as eight times the vitamin B12 of chicken eggs. They have more of almost every nutrient, primarily because of the yolk. Now I'm showing you these duck eggs for a reason. Over the last three years, I've estimated that I've cracked 8,000 duck eggs. And all that time, I have witnessed one double yolk, where you have one egg with two yolks in it. There's a one in 1,000 chance of having a double yolk in a chicken egg. I think a duck egg, the odds are even greater. What you're witnessing is six eggs from a dozen. The first six eggs each produced a double yolk. The odds of one dozen eggs, each containing a double yolk, is 1,000 trillion. So one in 1,000 trillion odds of getting 12 eggs in a row with double yolks. Watch this is the week we after we prayed here. for now, a double portion. What's miraculous about this is I'm believing that these double yolks symbolize a double portion of the anointing. So I'm going to go ahead and separate these eggs. I don't know what's in here, obviously, but I'm believing that this is going to be another double yolk. And it is. So this is the seventh in a row from this dozen. See how there are two yolks fused together? I'm separating them. There you see a double yolk. This would be number eight. And it's another double yolk. I'm literally blown away. One out of a thousand chance to get one double yolk. In 8,000 duck eggs that I've cracked, I have seen in the last three years, one double yolk. Right there, that's two. 
and this really represents eight. Watch this, I just believe it's gonna be another double, and it is. So we are literally seeing something that's probably now incalculable in terms of how rare. You can see them all in this one bowl. And that one's even separated. This is literally representing, I believe, a double portion of anointing. Here's another one, and I'm taking it for granted now. I just literally have faith that every egg I crack is gonna be a double yolk. Again, I'm trying to separate these. I'm using the egg yolks for a recipe. There you go. You can see two, four, six, eight. Eight yolks and four eggs. Here's another one. One out of a thousand chance and another double yolk. I am literally blown away here. This is absolutely amazing. This is probably defying almost every odd you can think of. This is it. This will be 1,000 trillion if this is a double yolk, and it is. Look at that, two completely separate yolks from one egg. I don't know what else to say other than that was six eggs. Those are 12 egg yolks. And as I told you, the previous six eggs from this very dozen were each double yolks. That is 12 eggs in a row from a full dozen with 24 yolks. What do you think, guys? This started happening the week after we prophesied over them, a team of us, okay? Since that time, in the last three weeks, they have had 134 eggs with double yolks. Remember, before that, one double yolk in three years in 8,000 eggs. In the last three weeks, 134 double yolks. Can, can y'all see what God's saying? Can you hear what God is saying to us? I believe this is a sign. This is a sign of what, when we come into agreement with what God is saying, I, I'm believing that the sky is the limit. Come on, I want you to stand to your feet. We're going to decree this, okay? We're going to decree this. All right. Whew. Decree it with me. I am living in crazy increase. I will have more than enough to set, supply my needs and to accomplish my mission. God will bless me so I can be a blessing. All the enemy has stolen must be restored seven times. This is my time. I will be a hundredfold believer. This is my super bloom season. Give the Lord a shout of expectation. Come on. Come on, guys. Now, let me just say this before you're seated. Let me just say this. Is that, you know what double portion is going to mean? A lot of work. How, how many still want it? Okay. How many still want it? A double portion season. Don't stop coming to church when double portion comes. Okay. Stay plugged in. Stay in the, in the atmosphere. And... Um, I just really believe right now that, that God just really wants to release an anointing on you. If you have a business, I want you to get out of your chairs and just come down here. I've got more points, but we'll do those another time. I, I just, just know that my, my preaching on dunamis is incomplete as of yet, but I feel like we need to stay right here, okay? And so if you have a business, move all the way down to the front. And, um, and I, I just am believing that God's going to give you, um, how many need, um, more employees to be able to facilitate. Come on, look up. You know, Josh is already in a double portion. How about a double-double? How about a double-double, Josh? Right? Come on, can, can you handle God doubling what he's done in the last three years? Father, I just decree not just double income, but double opportunity, double influence, God, a double, double. He stepped into the double. Now double that double, Father. We thank you, God, for bringing in faithful employees, God, that are skilled laborers that can do the work, God, with a quality and an excellence to take Josh's business to another level. Father, we just decree that over him now, God. We just decree every assignment to wear him down, to wear him out. Come on, every one of you. 
you. That every assignment that wears you down, wears you out, that frustrates you because you don't have enough help, you don't have enough employees. I'm telling you, right now, God is releasing creative ideas, innovative thinking. God is breaking you out of the box of where you've been right now. God, we thank you, God, that these businesses are coming in to a crazy increased season. They're coming in to not just a double portion, but something that is exponential beyond where we've ever been before. God, there's clients out there with tons of money that are looking for somebody to partner with. God, we call them forth right now, Father God, for these connections, divine connections to these businesses, Father God. Homes that need to be built. Father God, homes that need to be sold. Uh, lands that need to be uh, purchased and sold. Properties that need to come forth. Come on, if you need a property, wave your hand at me. Father, right now, God, we thank you, God, for an anointing on property. God, an anointing for sales on property, for facilities, for your, for your business, for growth and expansion ideas. God, for everything. God, you said that you would fully furnish us with everything that we need. Now, the rest of you guys that are out there that are feeling kind of left out right now, just join us down here. I know this isn't very COVID-friendly, but if you feel like God's calling you to go to another level, and to step into a new double portion of influence, of finances, of abundance, of your families coming together, of opportunity breaking its way open. And I hear the Lord saying to, to Jamin and, and Alyssa, the Lord says, son and daughter, I want you to know that I brought you here to divinely position you. And the Lord says, I opened some doors for you. And the Lord says that you've been happy to see the open doors. But the Lord says, you haven't actually seen the fullness of it yet, says the Lord, because that open door is going to lead to another open door that's going to lead to another open door. And the Lord says, I've already put business inside of both of your heads and both of your hearts. And the Lord says, you don't really see the way forward right now. But the Lord says, I want you to know that I put those ideas in you. I put those dreams in you, says the Lord, so that you could be kingdom entrepreneurs, says God. Kingdom business people that had so many different innovative ideas and so many different ways. And the Lord says, because I've seen your heart, that your heart isn't just about making money. Your heart is about impacting the kingdom. Your heart is about changing people's lives and changing people's hearts. And the Lord says, so I'm going to bless you in business so that you can do the stuff in ministry that you've cried out to do. And the Lord says, son and daughter, I want you to know that even though you've really had to press through a narrow place in order to obey me, the Lord says, get ready and watch and see me bring you into a wide, expansive field beyond what your imagination has even thought of, says the Lord, because I'm going to partner with you. You're going to partner with me. The Lord says the enemy's tried to push you out, even of this land, tried to get you discouraged, tried to get you disconnected. And the Spirit of the Lord says, don't listen to the lie. The Lord says, let your roots go down deep. Let your fruit be, be produced on branches that are wide. The Lord says, do not uh, short circuit the breakthrough that you've been contending for. The Lord says, it's always darkest before the dawn. It's always darkest before the light. The Lord says, do not be discouraged in the midst of the process. For the Lord says, I've set you up for this season. I've set you up for this season. Come on, that's a great prophetic word. God has set us up for this season.